We're almost there. Are you excited? Wait, so did we tell him? No! You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. My name's Billy, this is Sierra, and our pup, Jetty. This is our home. Her name is Adrenaline. We decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us, so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure. Be sure to subscribe below and hop on board. Okay, our first problem's been solved. What happened? Just a fuel system relay, just an electronic piece. All I had to do was take it out, put it back in, it would work, but then if I tried again, I, every single time I had to take it out, put it back in. So I think the relay is just going bad. Those connections, I think, just get worn over time. We'll just stop and get a new relay. It's like a 10 or $20 piece. Pretty, pretty cheap, pretty simple problem, so. It's been taking some getting used to driving this new rig. It's You could tell there's a ton of weight back there. The suspension is holding up really, really well. The rear suspension, I think we're really like putting it to the max. Try to offload some weight where we can and maybe think about getting some an airbag system. It's even more leafs added to that leaf spring. The steering is tighter than it's ever been. When big like semis pass you, you really just moves the whole rig over. It's just a lot of windage and a lot of weight and stuff going on. The further we can look ahead and plan ahead, the, the safer and better off we'll be. How much do you think it all weighs? Man, I think this camper dry, the book says, what, 2,600 pounds or something, but we have a lot. Like, as much as we tried not to have too much weight, we really loaded it up to the max. Probably have like 4,000 pounds back there. There's some spare parts for the truck and parts that I didn't get a chance to swap out yet. Um, so once we do some of that stuff, and then we got some other spares that I know we just don't need, so we'll just get rid of, kind of narrow it down, we'll, we'll offload a few hundred pounds. And... We found our first off-road, off the beaten path, overlanding spot, just off this. This is, I guess, a forest road, like in, in this national refuge or something. Cool spot, woods all around. You can hear the bugs and animals, and we are not very level. And I guess that's a big thing in this truck camping world that we're new to. Not so much in sailing. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to find a rock or, or big log or something I could level us out on we'll see make some food and just hang out and chillax and enjoy the nature over here Well, that was night number one in the National Wildlife Refuge in Georgia. We are not connected to anything, so we didn't have 
the AC, but luckily as soon as the sun went down it got super cool and we had a couple little portable fans and it was just fine. Billy is refusing to get up. But it's time to get on the road again because today we are picking up something super special. We're almost there, are you excited? I can't wait to see this thing. Wait, so did we tell him? No! You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. We are just about there at the location where we are going to pick up our super special surprise. And we can't wait to show you! We got a little sneak preview of it and it looks so cool. But this is the first time that we're like seeing it on the water and fully uh, outfitted, I guess. And oh my god, I can't wait. we are we're at a lake welcome to some fresh water jetty i believe this is your first time in the lake it, it's gonna make you sink a little bit you're gonna have to swim a little bit harder than fresh water do you want to go swimming Oh, do you want to go swimming in the lake? Yeah? Okay, we're here. I see, I see. Oh, my lamp. That's right, that's her spot up there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got some nice features for you, some extras that we put on this boat so you and uh, Sierra can have fun, and Jetty, you can have fun too. <laughs> so first of all, we've got a nice Honda on this. That's a Honda 100, and Gan Strut sent us a nice feature. That and it holds the phone, and it also charges it. It's a nice Simrad plotter. Also, we've got a, a, a nice stereo here, Bluetooth. We don't have any radio in the truck, so this is going to be a nice... <laughs> A nice little addition. We've got uh, we've got a nice rod rack up here, and we've got this nice gear bag up here that we can get loaded up and keep all your gear, you know, safe and separate. This has got the tubular bolster, uh, 700 on it. We'll just put a nice Yeti 35 cooler underneath. Nice storage area. Whoa, look yeah. at that thing. That's futuristic right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got nice storage here, extra storage, fuel fill. Yep. We've got a separate bow locker here. Mantis sent us one of their anchors. And then you got a roller for that right here, huh? Yep. The patrols have these nice grab lines around them, so you can always have something good to hold on to. The, of course, the biggest feature is, you know, Billy, that we're aluminum hulls, right? This whole boat's going to come in just over 1,700 pounds with the motor. With the motor, wow. Yeah, really lets you carry a lot of people and have fun. And it pushes really easy with that 100, so you can have the boat loaded and still get up and have fun on it. So you're really going to let us borrow this? <laughs> well, I it's, um, you know, we haven't finished that discussion yet, so I think so. <laughs> you gotta see how we drive first. Yeah, that's how, we, we're gonna take a test first, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, should we go out and take it for a ride? Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Yeah. You brought the toys! <laughs>
much fun. <laughs> I can't wait to do some of the things you want to do with this. I'm so excited. Can we do some towing, towing big wave surfing? <laughs> you must not know what that means. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Tom doesn't know what he's just agreed to. I don't know what oh, he said is. yes. Then? All right, cool. You know it's a good day when Jenny gets wrapped. It's on securely on the right ball size and then just close down the little hitch thingy and then we put this pin through it so it cannot open on its own. We'll probably put a lock through here so that no one could try to take this trailer off the truck without the key or cutting it, whatever. I always like to cross the chains and put them on here just in case this did come connected. We're still chained up here. And then of course we need our lights. That would be... Yeah, there it is. We just made sure that our trailer tire pressure is up to pressure right around 45 PSI and we have our rear tie down strap so the boat doesn't bounce around or off the trailer. We have an extra chain up front by the winch just in case that winch ever fails so we're all, we're pretty solid. Perfect right. Perfect brakes. You pass. You pass. <laughs> oh no, let's get over. So our first goal with our new toy is the Outer Banks. We're off to the Outer Banks. It's so funny sitting in a truck watching the water go by right next to you instead of on our own boats and watching the water go by. 